hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get notification about upcoming console videos in today's video i'm going to show you that how we can simulate a three-dimensional airflow over a smooth ball and a golf ball as you know the golf ball contains a lot of dimples that lead to the late separation of air and further leads to the generation of narrow wake region and strong vortices at the back end of the golf ball which is why the golf ball experience is less track compared to the smooth ball i already have solved the problem in console i will show you each step how to simulate this problem in in console so the first thing is that you need to make sure that you are working in a three-dimensional space when you open the console the first thing obviously is to select the uh, spatial dimension so you need to click this add component and you will get different options in this case obviously we are working in a three-dimensional space you need to select this 3d here so once you select on this 3d so this component will appear here so the first thing is the definition you don't need to change anything here so the next thing is the geometry so if i open here for you the geometry so the first thing is that you need to right click on this geometry and select this import so when you click this import so this will appear here so i uh, for in the first step i imported uh, this golf ball so i will provide you the link of this golf ball in the description so you need to convert into stl or step format so once you convert that then you need to click on browse and then select this uh, step file and then click open so once you do that then click on import and uh, select this build selected so this golf ball will be uh, imported into your console window so the next thing is that we need uh, a domain outside this box what you need to do is that you need to right click on this geometry and click on this block so once you click on this block this first block will appear so you need to provide the width 70 millimeter depth 250 millimeter and height 70 and then for the position you need to select corner and then x minus 35 y minus 75 and z minus 35 and click on build selected so now you can see here i have uh, generated uh, a domain outside this uh, golf ball and then we need another uh, a domain and a smooth ball so to generate another a domain you can again click on this geometry and click on the block so this is our second block so the dimensions for the second block are, are this one the width is 70 millimeter depth is 250 height is 70 again and you need to select the corner for the base position and then for the x y z minus 35 minus 75 and 40 millimeter and then you need to click build selected so this is how we created our second a domain so we need a smooth ball inside this a domain so you need to right click on the geometry go and select this sphere so once you click the sphere so this will appear here and you need to make sure the type should be solid the radius this time is 20 millimeter and you need to for the position one you need to click 70 you need to provide 75 millimeter in the z direction so once you click on that so you can get a ball smooth ball inside the second air domain now we have to subtract these solid domains these balls from the air domain so what you're going to do is that you go you, you need to click on geometry and then select the boolean and partition here you need to select the difference this one difference so once you click on the difference so uh, you will get this window so we last two options so the objects to add and objects to subtract so obviously we need this air domain and we want to subtract uh, this sphere from the air so what i will do so for the subject objects to add i will select this uh, air domain and for the object to subtract i can click uh, uh, on this i can turn this on you can stick it you, you can see here we can turn on this one and select this domain for the objects to add and we can we can select this um, smooth ball for uh, for the objects to subtract so if you struggle to select this you can scroll your mouse down and select the ball if you scroll it towards you you can again select the air domain and if you push uh, forward so you can select now this um, smooth ball so once you select these two domain you need to cl click uh, uh, build selected now this ball has been subtracted from the a domain again for the golf ball domain you need to do again so uh, again right click on geometry go to booleans and partitions click on difference 
so for the second difference again uh, the objects to add so we want to add this object and the object we want to subtract is the golf ball you can move the scroll in the forward direction to select the golf ball so once you do that again click on build selected and for the form union you need to click build selected or you can come back to geometry and select below build all so now our geometry is ready for the further processing the next step is to provide the material so in this case we are going to use the air as our fluid so you can click on the material right click on the material go to the add material from library and once you click that so you can see a different type of materials in this case we're going to use air so you need to click on this liquid and gases then go to the gases and here the first option is here so you need to double click and then this air will appear into the material window so once you select the air so you need to select both domains so the domain number one and domain number two these both are a domains so if you can't see your object you can select this transparency and then you can see uh, your smooth ball and the golf ball as well so uh, this is our domain number one this is our domain number two for the material and they both are air the next step is to select the physics so the physics in this case we are going to use the laminar flow in order to add this laminar physics uh, in the model builder you need to click on the physics tab and then you need to click on add physics so once you click on add physics so a new window will appear on the right hand side here you need to select the fluid flow then single phase flow and then the laminar flow so you need to double click this laminar flow once you double click so the physics will be added in the model builder so under this physics uh, you will have this fluid properties initial value and wall three options so so first of all for the laminar flow you need to select all the domains so here domain number one and domain number two are the fluid domains for the fluid properties uh, you don't need to provide anything here but just need to make sure the both domains are selected and then for the initial values again you need to, you don't need to provide anything here for the wall you need to make sure the wall condition is no slip boundary condition you can select different conditions for condition electroosmotic velocity slip velocity leaking wall different options are here but in this case make it simple we are going to select the no slip condition so the next step is to provide the inlet and outlet flow conditions so you need to right click on them in the flow and click on inlet so once you click on inlet so this boundary condition will appear so we in this case we are providing the flow entering from this face so these two phases so we need to select phase number one uh, this phase which is phase number six and the, this phase which is phase number two so phase number two and phase number six so uh, you need to select the phases where the fluid is entering and you need to provide the velocity so in normal cases when the golf ball travels in the air so normally the velocity is between 100 to 160 miles per hour so we convert it into meter per second so the average should be 50 meter per second so this is our initial velocity uh, condition that we provided at the inlet now we need to provide the boundary condition at the outlet for that you need to again right click on this laminar flow go to the outlet and then once you click this outlet boundary condition so this will appear here so the fluid is entering from here and leaving from these two phases so you need to select this phase number nine and phase number ten so and then and then you need to provide the pressure pressure boundary condition you need to make sure it should be static and uh, the uh, outlet pressure should be zero and uh, you need to make sure this uh, suppressed backflow should be selected so once you are done with your inlet and outlet boundary condition then the next step is to uh, generate the mesh so if you don't see the mesh option here you can go to this mesh and then you can click on build mesh so get the mesh option so under this mesh uh, you will get this size and then if you don't see the further options you can right click on this and click on again size so you'll get the size number one if you want corner refinement you can go and click on corner refinement and further free tetraidals and then boundary layers so you can select the boundary layers from here so uh, i'll show you each setting in the mesh that uh, i have used for this problem so for example for the first size you need to make sure that it should be calibrated for the fluid dynamics and uh, this time because i want to solve it quickly you can go to um, normal fine or finer mesh but in this case i selected the course option to just to quickly solve the problem so the next step is the size one here i selected all the boundaries outer boundaries 
and then I provided uh, again the fluid don dynamic boundary condition and this time I selected the boundary conditions are normal here and the next one is the corner refinement here I selected all these two domains and all the boundaries and uh, this time the element size scaling factor is 0 0.35 and for the minimum angle between the boundaries uh, considered to 40 degree so the next one is the free tetradal here you don't need to put anything and then just click just click the geometry entry level which is remaining and uh, then next thing is the boundary layer so the for the boundary layer i selected these uh, outer boundaries and the boundary properties are number of layers i considered two here stretching factor 1.2 and thickness adjustment 5. so once you provide this and then just come to the mesh number one and click on build all so once you click on build all so you'll get this mesh again if you don't see your balls so if you see like this so you need to make sure that you have uh, selected this transparency option so if you click that you can see your mesh and your ball smooth ball and the golf ball inside the hair domains so once you're done with the mesh so the next step is to define the study in this case to make it simple uh, i considered a uh, stationary study if you don't see this option here just come to the study option and then you need to click on add study and then again you will see window here showing you the type of studies can be used for this type of problem so at the moment we are considering this just stationary study so you need to double click on stationary study so once you click that you will get this stationary study option here the next thing is that you need to just uh, compute and once you click on the compute it will take uh, probably five to ten minutes to solve this problem so once the problem is solved uh, i'll show you the results uh, nice results here so the two type of results will be generated automatically so the first one is uh, the velocity profile and the second one is the pressure profile so i will show you how i modified the uh, velocity profiles to show the vortices here so uh, if you don't if you don't get these two options here so you can also build uh, from the scratch for example you need to go to the results section right click on it and click on 3d plot or click on the result section here and click on 3d plot so once you click on 3d plots you will get this one and you can rename it rename it with the velocity here then you need to right click on this velocity and then go to this slice option here so once you click on slice you will get this slice option here here you need to select the expression and make sure the data set should be from parent and get the velocity expression you need to click on this one go to the laminar flow and go to the velocity and you need to select this velocity magnitude so you need to double click on this velocity magnitude and you will get the expression here you can change the unit from uh, like meter per second to kilometer per second or meter miles per hour or kilometer per hour in this case i'm keeping it meter per second because i have provided the inlet velocity in meter per second so i can easily correlate what's going on uh, in my air domain so once you do that you can simply click on plot and then you will get one uh, slice in the air domain if i turn off this um, transparency you, you can see the beautiful air velocity profile uh, around the smooth ball and the golf ball so if you want you need also need to make sure that which axis do you need for example in this case i know i need for the yz axis so i can I need to click for the YC axis for the plane and if I want more planes I can for example say five planes if I click on plot you can see five different plots have been generated so it's very hard to see what's going on inside so it's better to just keep it to one to see exactly what's going at the center of the domain and uh, then if you want to see from the top you can select the X Y plane and then you can see if easily from the top you can easily see uh, the velocity profiles in the xy plane so in this case uh, i'm just showing you for the yz plane and it's very simple to see um, then the next thing is that you need to generate the velocity streamlines for the velocity streamlines again you need to right click on the velocity go to the streamlines once you click on streamlines streamlines you need to provide the expression again you need to click on the expression go to the laminar flow velocity and pressure then you need to click on velocity field u v and w u in the x direction v in the y direction and w in the z direction velocity component so once you click that one so you will get u v w and then you need to 
play with these um, different options for example here i provided the ribbon and i have provided the width scale to 0.2 that's how i can control the thickness of the streamlines so the next thing is that you need to uh, make sure that which method you are using so there are different methods to plot these uh, streamlines in this case i am using uh, uh, this uh, starting point control you can select this one uh, uh, on selected boundaries but in this case you need to provide the boundaries from where the fluid is entering and then you can provide as many as like number you can provide that point so the more points mean more streamlines so uh, you can see here nicely we have generated streamlines and that shows some strong vortices at the back end of this uh, uh, golf ball in the wake region of the golf ball uh, if you just want to see the streamlines we can just right click on the slice we can right click on the slice and click the disable and we can provide the color so to provide the colors to the streamlines you need to right click on the streamline go to the color expression and then uh, you can see here uh, nice colors have been generated and these sh colors shows the velocity uh, at different location so uh, again for the pressure one you need to right click on the results go to 3d plot and within 3d plot you need to right click and select the contours so in this case uh, we have generated the pressure in the pascal you can change again the uh, units from here and then in this case we selected the number of levels and 250 so it clearly shows that it has high pressure at, uh, the, at the facing end and at the wake region you have very low pressure so that's all about today's video if you really like the video please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get notification about upcoming videos thank you so much